Science Loves Art, and we have just recently packaged a new kit. These are our little individual traveling marlin kits. Um, they're easy to transport and we are excited because they will be lightweight and easy to mail and easy to disperse to families and children and, or to use for parties. So um, your retail purchase on 4th Street Studios helps support our mission of providing these projects to rural and isolated areas. Anyway, so we have everything you need here. They're the same as our larger kits and a smaller version. You have four little mini cards you can make and we'll give you a little demo of that. You can make something with your paper like this. Um, and you will be able to make, you could make bookmarks out of scrap paper, um, beautiful designs out of the scrap paint that you're gonna have left over, so we'll show you that. You have 16 small squares. Of course, you can cut these into smaller pieces and make as many um, marbling creations as you like, and I'm gonna set these out of the way so they do not get wet. If they get wet before you print, you won't have any paint sticking to the area that was wet. All right, and you've got two colors of paint. Um, so this gives you opportunity to use the colors individually, mix the colors, which we could make green, um, and also use soap as a negative space provider, as a negative space in your design. So we'll show you that. This will be your palette. That's pretty convenient. And then you've got your two brushes. So um, let's, Let's get started. I'm gonna use my studio version. My cup here already filled up with water. So you wanna fill it up pretty full because you're gonna print on top of that. And if you prefer to use other dishes that you have around, I've used this little soup dish before. Um, it, it's fine, it just washes right out. So it's not gonna hurt your dishes. Um, I have poured a little bit of blue and yellow here for our demonstration. And then we're gonna use one brush for yellow and one brush for blue for now. All right. Expanded quite a bit because we're just starting to paint and we don't have anything else on top of our water. The more we paint, the more clouded, crowded it will become and you'll have to replace your water, but that's easy. See the, the paint is moving. That could be caused by lots of different things in the air. I can blow it right now. Change the design. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Give it a few more blows. Okay, now I'm gonna get my Japanese rice paper. It has the smooth side and a little bit more rough side. I like to print on the smooth side, but try it both ways. Beautiful. You can rinse it just a little bit because you may have a little bit of color that didn't get printed and soaked in that's just kind of running. That looks really good. Now we'll set this aside to dry. And when it's dry, we can make a nice card. So my brushes are clean, I have fresh water. This little container here has just a tad of soap in it. So one of my brushes is gonna be dipped in this soap. Let's see what happens. We'll do one color in blue and one one brush in blue and one brush with the soap. Okay, blue. So we've got fresh water and so our color is gonna really expand. Soap, it's gonna push it out. So it's gonna make a negative space there, which will be really cool. So it's gonna look like blue and white. The more you hold your brush exactly perpendicular to the water, not at an angle like this, the clearer your circle will be. 
Okay. Now we have a really pretty design. It's still kind of moving. I'm just going to gently blow. Do you see that? Isn't that cool? I'm not sure you can see how much it's moving. So let's print it. Whatever's on top of the water is going to print on my paper. Now, if you get your paper, if you get your paper wet before you print, it won't print where the wet is. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Come lay it on top, press, That turned out very cool. Very interesting. So you can just do one color. You don't have to do the two colors that are in your kit. Now let me show you how to use your leftover ink. Let's get, let's say that you're finished for the day and you just want to use your paint up. because you are going to have plenty of paint. It's kind of like watercolor. You can mix and match and experiment, create different colors. There's no right or wrong way. So experiment. This is color theory at its very best because you are creating what you want to create and exploring your colors. There is a science to it. If you wanted to be exact, you could mix, remix any color you wanted, millions of options. But I think it's fun just to create. Try reapplying water over your paint. And then when it dries, it just changes so much more. I have a tendency to overdo this part. But how pretty. Don't you love that? So I still have so much paint left. Um, I'm just gonna leave this and see what happens when it dries. I love it the way it is. So I'm going to set it aside. Look, look, it's beautiful. All right. Now I want to show you how to make a little envelope for your cards. So you start with a square, okay? Any size. About six and a half inches is what we've got. Fold it in half. And then open it. And then fold it up until one of the corners touches the crease. Fold it up one more time. Okay. Um, now, fold it in half, and you're not gonna fold it, you're just gonna mark where your middle is right here, okay? Now fold your corner a little bit past and fold your other part a little bit past so you'll have an overlap. I like to tuck this inside, I think that's cool. sticker or a piece of tape right there. There you go. Isn't that fun? Here's a bookmark that we made out of our leftover scrap from yesterday. 
we just glued this onto cardstock and now we have a little bookmark. That's a nice little gift. Okay, at the end of the day, after you're finished creating your artwork, rinse out your cup and rinse out your brushes. I like to dry it out because you don't want to get everything wet inside. Let it dry or set it out. Okay, tighten up your paint, put those back in. All the cards and paper that you haven't used yet, just drop that inside, that's easy. Put your brushes back inside. Just make sure that your brushes don't get crinkled like this and dry sideways. So dry them with the, those tops up or dry them um, before you put them in. And anything else that you have, rinse out your lid, your palette, and you've got it ready to store easily till the next time. Thanks everybody.